Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. And I am here because I am so mad about this. This is an oh hell no type situation that I felt like I needed to say something about it. Um, my friend Sarah sent this over to me. I'm just beyond mad as a mom, as a teacher, as a fellow geek. I am like, this is bullshit and I'm tired of it. So apparently this poor kid in New York got lured out to a park in a Spider-Man costume. I think he was thinking he was gonna make some friends, you know, meet some kids, cause he likes cosplay, and he has a really cool costume. And he was basically just brought out so these kids could beat on him and tape, do they tape themselves doing it. I'm just like so sick and tired of this shit. It's probably the same kids that go to Twitter and be like, oh my God, accept everyone type new people. So this poor kid, it was in the blaze that she sent me this article. 15 year old boy from Hudson Falls was reportedly lured by bullies in his Spider-Man costume to a local park where he was savagely attacked and left with a broken nose. Oh, hell no. It emerged online and showed a middle schooler, a middle schooler, okay? This is the, the kid, um, Aiden Padoni dresses a, as Spider-Man and he gets, you know, jeers from people coming by and then one classmate can be heard asking whether his spider sense is tingling. Some girl approaches him so, and then just slaps him open handed across the face. He dodges her first attempt. She strikes him again. And when he takes his mask off, his nose is broken. They have a picture of the poor kid. Kid looks pretty normal to me. He's just a kid who likes this kind of stuff. I'm like, leave him alone. I'm so tired of, you know, being bullied because you like certain things. You know, I'm just so effing tired of it. He did not you know, hit back or anything like that. The, the Hudson Falls Police Department confirmed that, you know, around 4.30 p.m. on June 21st, he was struck in the face by a 14-year-old girl and sustained significant injuries to his nose, which would require further medical intervention. The 14-year-old girl was later arrested and charged with one count of assault in the second degree, a Class D felony. She will appear in the Washington County Probation Department at a later date. Good! Good, the little twit needs to be held accountable. If more kids were held accountable, maybe this shit would stop. You know, I'm just saying. His mother um, said that the, the boy likes Marvel characters and he's elicited scorn and abuse from other kids after he started sixth grade because he likes Spider-Man. My son was attacked for the purpose of bored teenage entertainment, targeted for being different than them. He was viciously attacked because of having the courage to stand up from the crowd and be himself. He has that kind of heart that only sees the good in people. That is this kind of kid who deserves not, does not deserve to have his nose broken, unprovoked, and witnessed by nearly a dozen peers standing about watching it, recording it, and laughing at him. You know what? I don't care if they're kids. Fuck you. Parents do better. If I, my kid was involved in that kind of crap, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You know, you don't sit there let your little shits run around and behave like this. I'm so tired of watching people get bullied for something like I like Spider-Man and I cosplay him or just being awkward or different. I mean, I told the story before and for those of you who are new to the channel, when I was in sixth grade, for no reason at all, for like a couple months, all the kids in my class stopped talking to me. Like they did it to a couple other girls before me and I would not participate in it I still talk to them and they were never left alone because I still you know made sure they that they I wouldn't I couldn't I didn't have the heart to do them what you know other people were doing and as a result I was the one that was targeted and it lasted longer when it was me and unfortunately the people who I stood up for did not stand up for me I am, I'm not mad because I understand why I get it because you know they were worried if they did that they would be the the target again and they didn't want to go through that I mean I get it I don't think it's right, but I get it. So um, it's just it's just really frustrating, and upsetting. So an individual identified as An Edward Anthony started a fundraiser um, to show the kid who you know, a true hero is. He's a very kind kid who loves comics, video games, and cosplays. Regular bullied in school in a situation is absolutely unacceptable. Totally agree. It's absolutely unacceptable. So they're doing a GoFundMe for him. They're trying to raise um, over, they're trying to raise money to send him to Adventures Campus at Disney's California Adventure, um, where Spider-Man is a featured hero. And then additional proceeds will go towards him having martial arts trade or different things to help boost him up and, you know, make sure that he knows how to handle it in the future. Even though he handled it pretty well, he did not reciprocate, he did not hit back, even though that little 
brat deserved it. Um, his mom was like, I am beyond overjoyed with all that's happened this week. Seeing my son's true spirit shine and fly high while crawling out of such a dark hole is long overdue dream come true. The world can be beautiful and extends much further than within the walls of toxic school environment. I am beyond grateful for all the positive that has come out of this experience. So here's the, the GoFundMe. You can see it here. Um, there, there's a video that's going around the internet. I'm sorry. There's no excuse for this. And there are so many kids that are, you know, have trouble making friends. Ma making friends is not easy for a lot of people. I myself have trouble. It's not an easy thing. And, you know, you want to be friends, you want friends so bad, and you go out there to try to make friends, to try to share what you love, and then they hit you in the face. I'm like, it's total bullshit. And there's so many kids like this, and it's so acceptable at schools. Heck, the teachers sometimes are the bullies. Um, that it's okay for kids to harass kids. And even now it's worse because now they go online and post it with like the videos, like a post on the internet, and make his life even harder. It's like, no, it's bullshit. Um, I'm tired of seeing people who happen to be a little quiet, a little nerdy. Maybe they're, they're autistic or they have some other issue get bullied because they love something because other kids are just complete assholes. And they're trying to get attention for themselves. Well, the girl got attention. All right. It's not the attention she probably wanted, but it's the attention she fucking deserved. Anyway, I wanted to share this. I know it's 4th of July, but it made me so upset, so angry. I'm like shaking mad over this whole thing that I wanted to share it so you guys could see it. You could send words of support. You can, you know, go to GoFundMe if you like. I guess on Twitter is a hashtag Aiden's Heroes. People are, are putting positive comments up for the kid on there. But I'm so angry because I know so many people are like this and they, they just, they're not... People, sometimes people are awkward or sometimes people, you know, are geeky or they're into things and they're quiet kids. I was a quiet kid and I'm just tired of watching kids get bullied over stupid things. I'm tired of watching these, you know, prima donna assholes go around and harass kids and take videos of them. And then you wonder why there's so many kids that are killing themselves now. This kind of shit is why. So parents out there do something about your little crotch goblins and tell them to knock the fuck off. Happy 4th of July. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.